Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, and it's a big Monday. This week is one of the biggest weeks on FIFA Ultimate Team, especially earlier on in the game. Our first massive, massive promo of the year with things that just changed the market for the rest of the year. This promo literally changes the market for the rest of the year. You know what it is. It's Black Friday. So this Friday, we're going to have Black Friday coming all sorts of content, all sorts of SBCs, the first lightning rounds of the year. And I wanna talk about all that kind of stuff this week. Basically, this is the market outlook video that we do each week where we outline the content and some of the market movements that we could see come up kind of from a higher level. We don't go too deep into things, but we do kind of, just kind of an informative Monday video where we get to talk about all the stuff that we could see this week on the market. Black Friday is the big thing. Obviously, we know Black Friday is coming. It's going to be here on Friday. The store is going to be active. The SBC section is going to be active. All types of stuff on this game, it's going to be popping off. Lots of content, um, as it always is on Black Friday. But before we get into all that stuff, we'll talk about that a little bit later. First off, because it's earlier in the week, we need to talk about Champions League. Yes, we are going to have Champions League content this week because... We have Champions League games. That's kind of how it works. We have Champions League games. This is match day five of six. And for for some of these games, it, they really have big implications for a few different things. First off, road to the final cards. After some of these games on Tuesday and on Wednesday, we will know which players are guaranteed an upgrade because some of their teams will actually progress into the knockout stages just by the amount of points that they have in their group and the way that the group is laid out and the way that it looks. So I do want to kind of mention that a little bit, but first I want to talk about UEFA marquee matchups because we always have UEFA marquee matchups on the week of Champions League. So we could see a little bit of content around that this week. What they usually do is they take one game from Tuesday and one game from Wednesday, make an SBC out of it. Um, so if you want to maybe buy a few cards uh, to invest in, um, I would look at some of the bigger games on Tuesday, a couple of the bigger games on Wednesday. Tuesday, we have Juventus and Atletico Madrid. That seems very possible. We also, have, we also have Real Madrid and PSG. So I would see either of these two being in the UEFA marquee matchups as the first squad. Second squad, I would probably say is either Napoli and Liverpool or Barcelona and Dortmund or maybe even Valencia and Chelsea possibly one of those two, but those are kind of the five that I see being in marquee matchups this week. If you want to make some investments, just basically look on the market and stock a few of those uh, players from those clubs into your club. That would be the best movements there. And then also, I always think it's a good shout to stock up on some of these UCL rare cards. Um, I mean, at 750 coins for some of these 81 rated, especially if they're from teams that you're looking at, like Milner, 1.1K, Zielinski, 1.2K. Those could be very needed for a uh, marquee matchups SBC if they require somebody from Napoli or Liverpool and they require a couple rare Champions League items. So even doing a little bit of a club stock on some of these, I'd be careful with the 82s. Um, I'd be careful with the 83s as well, just because we have those cards a little bit inflated, just a little, not terribly high, but just a little coming out of this week. So maybe pick up a few of these stock in the club just to be safe on that stuff. But that's kind of the way that I'm thinking for Champions League. I want to talk about the road to the final cards as well. A lot of them actually dipped pretty low on Saturday night of this week. I want to use this guy as a perfect example because I actually have one on my transfer list right now that I picked up for 354,000 coins, 354, 357, somewhere in there. I got a nice uh, low deal. That wasn't his absolute lowest on Saturday, but I got a nice deal. And a lot of these cards were panic sold this weekend, but I knew they were going to rise into the week as they were going to be hyped up again for Champions League games. So if you bought any of these cards on Saturday night, there's still a possibility early in the week this week. Maybe it's right when this video comes out on Monday and you're thinking, hey, maybe some of these cards are still low. Go check these cards out on Flipping Graphs. See if they are still a little bit low. And especially the cards that you're going to want to look at are cards that are really on the brink of are they going to get in of Champions League? Are they going to go on to the knockout rounds or not? This Memphis Depay and Lyon, they're a little bit on the edge. And I think that if he and his team win this um to, or on Tuesday. They play Tuesday? They play on Wednesday. They play uh, Zenit. 
the Russian team on Wednesday. So if they win on Wednesday, you'll probably see this card spike up in price a little bit because people might not realize that it's not going to get upgraded right away, but it's going to be hype around his name, hype around the game. So some of the stuff this week, you might see some of these Road to the Final cards move up and down just because their team won. Honestly, that could be a factor this week. That's why I picked up a couple of those cards. I'm already up. I picked up the Depies at 345 or 344, something like that. So that was a pretty good deal on that card there. So watch those cards to rise up and make sure you sell them either Tuesday or Wednesday when they play. All right. Just make sure. I mean, just probably sell them on Tuesday or Wednesday either way because you don't want to mess with what is going to be coming on Friday. All right, Friday, Black Friday. Now, I want to talk about some of the other days this week as well. EA has done a fantastic job of draining our clubs of coins this week with all the SBCs that have come out. And before we talk about Black Friday a little bit more, I want to talk, ooh, I have not seen that dynamic image. That's a nice dynamic image for Serge Nabry. I like it. Um, but David via SBC, that's a very emotional player for a lot of people. EA requiring 240 or 220,000 coins for that SBC. A nice little coin suck from EA there. GG, taking coins off the market. And that's what you've seen. We talked about that in a video, I think two days ago on the channel. Does EA hate investors? That's what I kind of titled that video. Because this week they have been hammering us and hammering us with uh, these SBCs to try to drain our coins before Black Friday. And especially they did it with this base icon upgrade SBC, which actually is giving out, which makes it, makes it even more of a coin sink. Because people are going out and spending the outlandish amount of like 600,000 coins to do this SBC. 620,000 coins for the base icon upgrade. Now... Some people have made it worth it from the pack value that they have gotten back of untradeable baby icons. I will not be touching this SBC. I would not recommend touching this SBC unless 25 days from now you've accumulated enough untradeable division rivals rewards or just 83s and 84s in your club for a very cheap, like you pack them during Black Friday or something, um, or from just getting cards in your club from rewards. And if you don't do any other SBC, and you have a bunch of other untradeables so that you can do this SBC for like 100 or 200K uh, out of pocket costs, maybe buying a couple informs, then I would say do it. But as of right now, not a fan, really not a fan. And this, we want to, I need to talk about this a little bit more uh, at some point because this kind of overlaps with when the baby icons are going to go out of packs as well. So that's kind of a little bit of an issue there as well. But I would not touch this SBC if you've already done it. I mean, don't feel bad if you've already done it. Hopefully, you've gotten a good pull. But that SBC was a major, major coin sink headed into Black Friday this week. So I want to look at a little bit of stuff um, from last year's Black Friday promotion. And I need to open the web page right now because this is very, very important information that I want to talk about because this was huge last year. They blindsided us with some of these things called the best of team of the week the they put these cards back in packs last year some of the best of team of the week cards that we had had in the game they re-released them back into packs nobody expected it of course and you saw these cards prices go down so much in the first two to three hours of black friday obviously black friday brings the first lightning rounds it brings the first um 50k pack well we've already had 50ks it brings the first 100k packs um onto the market i think last year it says that on the what day was this on 11 23 we had 50k we had 100k and 120 okay so we had wow a lot of lightning rounds a lot of lightning rounds holy cow they even started this early 2 p.m wow 9 a.m they have lightning rounds like all day so that's crazy. They're going to have lightning rounds all the time those first couple of days, uh, even later on in the promo as well. They had like random lightning rounds. Crazy. One hour global limit. That's nuts. So they're going to have a lot of packs um, this Friday. And that's and I think they're going to do this again as well. I think they're going to throw in the best of team of the week. And I'm honestly a little bit skeptical because they have barely supplied screams. They barely did any like pack supply SBCs during that promo. And they barely supplied road to the finals as well. I think there's a very high chance that instead of best of team of the week, it's going to be best of FIFA 20 and they're going to throw in some road to the final cards and they could throw in some scream cards along with some of the best of team of the week cards as well. So 
If you guys have informs, a lot of them have dropped in price already. I want to go take a look at some of these team of the weeks. But if you guys have like an inform Mbappe, again, like last year, like an inform Messi, I could see him in. They have, if you think about this last year, let's look at this guide again. These were literally the best informs that we had last year upon Black Friday time. We had Suarez, Mbappe, Neymar, Hazard. Those are probably the top four. And then Lewandowski or maybe Royce as the top four or five informs. What do we have this year? We have two Lewandowskis already. We have Messi. We have Ronaldo. Ronaldo in this week's team of the week. We have a Hazard. Um, we uh, Dybala, where's that inform? That in, Mbappe is inform as well. Griezmann. Uh, there are a ton of good. De Bruyne inform. Oh, Mane's inform. Mertens, of course, like la last year as well. There are tons of informs that could be included in this best of promo. So, wow, looks like Mertens. People are thinking that Mertens might be in again this year. 482K, that's a massive drop off. But I think it's almost warranted. He was 470 earlier today as well. I'm going to go on record and say that it's almost warranted. And if you guys haven't sold these cards, I know you're taking a big hit on them probably. But I would be skeptical because these cards could very well be re-released back into packs because EA needs to sell packs. And this is one way that they did it last year. And I think they're going to back up on that this year and go even better, bigger and better than they did last year with um, putting cards back into packs to make people want to go spend more points on Black Friday. So again, right now you see a couple of just 35Ks and 45K packs here in the store. And it, this is some of the most promo packs we've had all year. Makes sense though, because they put out this Icon SBC and they're trying to, you know, people are like, wow, I did three of those. I don't have any coins left. Let me go spend some more money on packs. So that's a possibility for those being in there as well. But again, this week, Black Friday, UCL content. I would pro you know what? To be honest, boys, I would not be surprised if we got another flashback SBC because basically right now EA is dumping the entire bucket of SBCs at us. We're getting almost an SBC every day. Uh, we didn't get an SBC today, which is no content Sunday, which seems to be kind of a theme. But they've thrown us, they've thrown at us that Paulinho SBC, which which was pretty good value actually. Um, we had another flashback SBC who I'm forgetting about right now. Uh, that had expired recently. Uh, and then just a lot of these little dink and dunk SBCs. I talked about the Konate that was earlier. I talked about the uh, Serge Gnabry. Even though it was a player of the month, they priced that SBC to a point where a lot of people would want to do it. And they gave him a good dynamic image. A lot of people would want to do that SBC. And then, of course, the base icon upgrade was the was the huge coin sink. That really dropped the market. And that's why partially you're seeing a lot of those informs that I was just showing. Like I showed that Mertens price drop. A lot of that has to do with people maybe selling their Mertens to go and do a base icon upgrade because Mertens sells for just about 500K. This costs about 600K, maybe a few cards in the club. And there, that's how you're doing an icon upgrade SBC. So a lot of people have done those. A lot of those cards are going to fall on the market. Now, if you're looking to buy a card for your team that is not going to be in best of team of the week, like I'm going to go on record and say that Alex Tellez could get in best of team of the week. But let's say somebody like Inform Fabinho um, is somebody who you want in your post Black Friday market crash team. And you want this Inform Fabinho card who has dropped a ton, 180K with a shadow, 174. This guy was consistently selling over 200,000 coins just uh, like two days ago. This might be a card that you would want to pick up now. If it's a special card and you don't think it's going to be put back into packs, maybe like a, a Scream Gamero or a Scream St. Juice Day. If that's somebody who's in your squad, that if you don't think they're going to put Road to the Finals or the Scream cards back into packs, some of those buy times might be sooner rather than later because a lot of the stuff... I haven't looked at a ton of graphs yet, but I remember last year that some of the stuff actually started going up into Black Friday, especially if it was an out-of-pack special card. A lot of that stuff actually started to go up before the date because there was so much panic selling before that. And this is like the biggest panic sell that we have had so far in this FIFA because of that Icon SBC, which has literally torched so many of these cards' prices. 174 for Fabinho is crazy. 177 with the shadow right there. So if this guy's in your team, I don't think he will get included in best of team of the week unless EA drops a madness and puts a ton of cards in packs. Um, so some of these special cards, if you have them in your squad, um, your post Black Friday market crash squad, I would say go over here on Footbin, look through. I mean, obviously 
we haven't talked a lot about planning yet, but make sure you guys plan out what your squad, what you, what you want your squad to be after Black Friday. If you haven't started thinking about that, really start to put some thought into that and start to whip it up quick because if you have that plan in mind before we head into Black Friday, um, you might be able to make some buy, buys beforehand where it's actually a better time to buy and you just know what you're looking for so you're prepared for it. You know, That was one thing that I really encouraged people to do last year. Uh, and I think it helped a lot of people going into Black Friday, knowing what you want to buy for your team, maybe reevaluate evaluating as an SBC comes out is important, but kind of set that target for your team, make a concept squad, add up the prices on foot bin, stuff like that. So maybe in that, in that squad that you want to build, maybe scream Hamas Rodriguez is included, you know, big card. He got the pace upgrade. And he's basically as low as he's ever been right now. 255,000 coins. Um, he is really low. 255k. Yeah, that's really freaking low for his card. So maybe you watch this card early this week. Maybe it gets panicked a little bit more. Maybe you just actually go and splurge and put that item in your team. Because when we get closer and closer to Black Friday, people are going to start buying up cards uh, because other people are going to say the best time to buy is before Black Friday. Because stuff on Black Friday gets bought up so much and whatever. If it's not going back into packs and it's an out of pack special card, um, like, like that Scream Hamas, or it is another inform that's probably not going to get re-released in best of, I would be very tempted to start thinking about pulling the trigger early on this week. And that's one thing that you can just honestly get out of the way too. Like we're looking at this Scream Hamas, he's actually 255, not 270 as where I had set the price, 260 at the moment. So there's not as many people looking at these cards right now. And that's also why it's a better buy time. When nobody else is buying, that's when you want to buy because nobody else is looking at it. There's not as much competition. And when people are buying, that makes the price go up, right? So if nobody's looking at the card, there's a lot of panic selling going on. That could be your in to buy. So for a lot of the out of pack specials, again, scream cards and road to the finals, wait for the road to the finals after this week of UCL, just to see what happens. But uh, maybe an inform that's not going to get into best of the team of the week, like I mentioned, Fabinho, or maybe somebody else um, of a middle or lower tier inform quality. Um, I would say Kyle Walker's inform, but that could get into best of. Maybe Tellez, I know I mentioned him too. That's kind of on the fence. Uh, so, but the, fir the first most major thing is plan out your team. Think about what you want to do. How many coins going to cost you? How many coins are you going to leave liquid for Black Friday? Um, and stuff like that. So again, this week, Market Outlook, I got into a lot of things there. We started talking about a lot of stuff. Champions League items. Um, maybe stock the club a little bit with them. How much, what's the cheapest ones right now on the market? They probably like, they're probably like discard, right? Just about discard. Try to get some of the 80s and 81s, maybe an 82. Just chuck it in the club in case they require something that's like an 80 rated squad with a couple rare Champions League cards. You might see some of the 80s and the 81s rise for that uefa marquee matchups sbc maybe buy some of the some players from the clubs that could be in um that uefa marquee matchups sbc as well we talked about piemonte calcio aka juventus um how much are their gold cards right now what is the cheapest piemonte calcio player 700 coins um right now for that maybe you can get one on bid for a little bit cheaper maybe throw a couple of those in the club uh or you know we talked about atletico madrid we talked about PSG, Real Madrid, those are big games this week. So just kind of get prepared for that kind of stuff. And of course, um, start to plan out your teams. I think that's one of the most important things you could see this week on FIFA because there's going to be a lot of content this week. Don't think that since we're leading up to Black Friday, there's going to be nothing. EA has been putting out a lot of content. I mean, we got a Flash SBC that they didn't even tweet out. I missed it. I missed the Flash, Flash SBC because I was not on the game. I wasn't on Twitter. I was away. For some of you guys that didn't know, I was away this last weekend. And um, I missed the SBC because I wasn't on and I wasn't there. And they didn't tweet it out with, with their direct communication account. And they dropped this the base icon upgrade. They dropped it at like 3 p.m. my time, which is like two hours after they usually drop content. So that was just weird. So EA is dropping content. And I don't think it's going to stop this week, even as we lead into Black Friday. They're going to try to suck all the coins that they can before we actually get to that Black Friday promotion. So again, big freaking week on this game. Hope you guys are ready. A ton of videos coming this week talking about Black Friday stuff, looking at the market. Um, it is a holiday, so we'll have to kind of play around that with Thursday being Thanksgiving here in the US. But uh, your boy will be here, all right? Your boy will be here making some videos. We'll be having some fun, making some coins, and hopefully 
Um, maybe even having some packs to open with uh, with some SBCs that they put on the game as well. Hopefully they do. I would love one of these re-release special cards from like a pack supply pack or something that they could put out. So we'll see what happens with that. Probably team league upgrades as well. We'll get into all that kind of stuff later this week, how to plan for it, how to prep for it, what you need to look out for. But this was the thousand foot view market outlook video for this week. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.